Hey everyone, welcome back. Meet Murphy here. So today we're going to go through the rule set that has been developed during this season of Hardcore. So we're going to start a brand new game and select equipment slot number five. This gives us the hardest layout with zero starting rubles. Step one, throw everything on the ground. This will be our return state upon any death. Vendors are perfectly usable. Anything they sell, any services they offer, those are all available. Heals, hunger, thirst, repairs, everything. As for the dice roll, only the top three numbers from any given die are counted. Only one die is counted for any kill. Kill order matters, so keep track. Roll one group of dice for each battle and roll them independently if there are multiple battles. Only grant yourself the armor if you can loot. If they're not reachable, you can't have it. Bosses do not give an armor roll chance because Armin and Kiba have their own functionality already built in and Lazar doesn't have an armor in the game. The dice roll specifics for success. On the d20, you're looking for an 18, a 19, or 20. Grant's about a 15, well, exactly 15% success. The d12 is 25% with a 10, 11, or 12. d8, 6, 7, 8 at 37, 5%. d6 is a 4, 5, or 6, giving you a 50% chance to win. You roll enemies four dice at a time. You get a higher chance if you kill four guys or more with each successive dice roll. If you kill more than four, you roll a second set, resetting your high chance back down to a 15% for the next kill if it's number five, 25% if it's a sixth. So let's talk through an example. It's going to be a fight with six enemies and we'll track them as we go. Okay, as you can see, we have six kills. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We roll for the first four. Number one on the D20, unsuccessful. Number two on the D12, unsuccessful. Number three on the D8, we hit it. Number four on the D6, we hit that too. So we reset the dice and we roll again. Number five on the D20, got a 19, so it's a success. And number six on the D12, rolled a six, that is not a success. So from here, we enter the debug menu Control, Alt, and P is default. That will bring up the equipment spawn window. And you click once for each victory. This time we were successful on one class one armor and two class two armors. 
One of the nuances in this hardcore series is distinguishing between hunters because they can indeed wear class 3 or class 4. The green and crimson do not, unfortunately. So any kills on the armies only award class 3. The last major topic would be keys. All keys in this hardcore version are single use. If you survive the raid after looting with a key to a keyed room, drop that key. If you don't survive, you can try again. This just prevents farming areas like the Swarovski jewel store for money. These are a self-imposed rule set. On current version 0.28.03, of course, subject to change, we'll see what future patches do to the game as they introduce uh, their own hardcore series or their own hardcore selection and possibly difficulty slider. So that's it. If you have questions, feel free to fall back on the rest of my series. I know this is being posted after episode 31 or something. So if you need more examples, go follow through. There's lots of me getting it right, getting it wrong, forgetting to do stuff, etc. It takes some getting used to, but it's feeling pretty hardcore. Every run is an adrenaline rush. So if you're digging it, like, comment, subscribe. That would be great. I appreciate you stopping by and listening through the rule set. Leave me comments. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me things you've changed. Other points of view and perspectives are always appreciated. Thanks for coming, everybody. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.